And this question it says two players P1 and P2 play a game against each other. In every round of game, each player rolls a fair die once. When the six faces of die have six distinct numbers, let X and Y denote readings on the die rolled by P1 and P2. If X is greater than Y, P1 scores five points and P2 scores zero. If X is equal to Y, then each player scores two points. And if X is less than Y, then P1 scores zero and P2 scores five. Now let x i and y i be the total scores of p one and p two respectively after ith round. Then we have to match these probabilities. Now in any round, both p one and p two, they are going to roll a die, and suppose numbers they get is x comma y. Now total combinations possible is thirty six. Now out of these thirty six, we'll get x equals y if we have one one, two two up to Six six. So this probability that both the numbers they'll be same, or we'll say this is a drawn case. In this case, it will be simply six by thirty six, which is one by six. In the remaining thirty cases, from symmetry we can say in half the cases, that is in fifteen cases, x will be greater than y, and in fifteen cases, x will be less than y. So probability of Player one winning, it will be fifteen by thirty-six, which is five by twelve, and player one losing, it will also be five by twelve. So in each round, the probability that they'll draw it is one by six. Probability that player one is going to win is five by twelve, and probability that player one is going to lose is also. Five by twelve. Now we look at this probability x two is greater than or equal to y two. Now this probability is after two rounds, score of p one is either greater than or equal to score of player two. Now this can happen if it is win in both rounds or it is. Win and draw. Now, win and draw. It can be either win draw or draw win. So, it'll be these two cases. Plus, the score may be equal if there is one win and one loss. Again, it'll be win loss or loss win. So, it'll be into two and plus both draws. So, these are the four cases in which score of P one will be greater than score of P two after two rounds. Now probability of winning is five by twelve, so it will be five by twelve into five by twelve plus two into winning five by twelve, drawing one by six, two into probability of winning five by twelve, losing five by twelve, and plus probability of drawing, which is one by six and one by six. Now this is twenty-five by one forty-four. This is twenty by one forty-four. Fifty by one forty-four, and four by one hundred and forty-four. Now this is ninety-nine upon one forty-four, which is which is eleven upon sixteen. That means this. First one it matches with Q, so this first bit matches with Q. Now second one is probability of x two greater than y two. Now for x two greater than y two, we'll take out those cases in which they'll have equal scores. So we'll take out these two cases. So it'll be this condition, which is. Twenty-five by one forty-four plus twenty by one forty-four, which is forty-five upon one forty-four. Now this is five by sixteen. So this second one it matches with R. So this second it matches with R, Q, R, Q, and R. Now this third one is probability that x three is equal to y three. That means we have to find the probability that after three rounds, both of them they'll have equal scores. 
So probability of x3 equals y3. Now they'll have equal scores if all the three matches are drawn or there is one win, one loss and one draw. And we can arrange these three in factorial three ways. Now this is a one by six into one by six into one by six. And this is six into, now winning is five by 12, losing is five by 12 and drawing is one by six. Now this is 144 into six. And this is four plus 150. So it'll be this 154 upon 144 into 6. Now this is 77 and this is 3. So it'll be this 77 upon 432. That means this third one, it matches with T. So this third, it matches with T. And the fourth one is probability of X3 greater than Y3. For this fourth one, we have this probability of X3 greater than Y3. Now it will be greater if it is all three wins or two wins and one loss and they can be arranged in factorial 3 divided by factorial 2 three ways or two wins and a draw again it can be arranged in three ways or a win and two draws. Again, it can be arranged in three ways. So these are the four possible cases. Now all three wins, so it'll be five by 12 into five by 12 into five by 12. Now this is three into five by 12 into five by 12 and one loss is also 5 by 12 plus 3 into 2 wins 5 by 12 into 5 by 12 into 1 by 6 and plus 3 into 1 win which is 5 by 12 and then 1 by 6 into 1 by 6. Now this is 125 upon 1728 plus 375 upon 1728 plus 150 upon 1728 plus 60 upon 1728 and there will be 710 upon 1728 now we cancel with 2. This is 3, 5, 5, and this is 864. So, this value it will be 355 upon 864. That means this fourth it matches with S. So, the correct option is this option A.